Senator Matthews has honorably and ably represented the citizens of Orangeburg and the surrounding counties. Though his district has changed, his district lines continue to move. He has never wavered in his dedication to all citizens of South Carolina. Senator Matthews is the longest serving African American member of the South Carolina General Assembly in our state's history. We're here at the reception for Senator John Matthews, the unveiling of his uh, portrait. And we've got Jamie Harris here, who of course is a candidate running for the Senate for the state of South Carolina. Uh, it is so good to be here for Senator Matthews. Listen, my first political job was an intern for Senator Matthews here in the, in the South Carolina Capitol. He's such an amazing man, and it's so good to see that he's being honored by the state. And we have the mayor of Orangeburg here as well. It is so wonderful to be here to represent Orangeburg County uh, and Orangeburg City. Senator Matthews has really been a beacon of light for us in Orangeburg because he has always tried to help us succeed from the state level. Over 45 years of statewide service, Senator Matthews has been committed to bettering South Carolina. Archburg County and his hometown of Bowman, as well as the lives of all South Carolinians. John W. Matthews, Jr., the senior senator from Archburg County. I'm Brad Hutto, the junior senator from Archburg County. I've known Senator Matthews since I was a teenager. John Matthews was running for the House of Representatives in 1975, and my father was the campaign manager of his opponent. Uh, John won that election. I turned 18 and got to vote for John Matthews and have been voting for him, first for the House, and then when he went on to the Senate in 1984, and he's been my colleague ever since. Of course, you are the chairman of the Orangeburg Economic Development Commission. Tell us about that organization and the relationship between Senator Matthews and, and your organization. Uh, Long-standing relationship, obviously. Uh, he's one of our most able leaders. He's always a great champion for Orangeburg County and the surrounding areas. Of course, he uh, represents more than Orangeburg County. And your dad held a seat uh, before he passed. Yes. That yeah. Senator Matthews now holds. Well, Senator Matthews, uh, dad had District 95, but they were in the house together. Right. 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 So they were in there side by side for many years. Uh, yeah. So he's one of the originals for right. sure. Exactly. Absolutely. And of course, Mr. Wright. Yes. Orangeburg County can't survive as the chairman of the Orangeburg County. Orangeburg County can't survive without a good relationship with the state. Definitely, and Senator Matthew has been a good relationship for Orangeburg County because he that's his home and he certainly understands economic education and economic is his key. You know, he taught my two older kids back before he got into the legislature. And education is a passion of his and economic development is a passion here because both of them go hand in hand. And uh, the senator, to me, I always tell people he's like E.A. Hutton when he talks, people listen. That's right, exactly. and, you know, because his thing is that he's one of the individuals that have been in the legislature so long. He has the connections. He's, he, he's a people person. He's never been caught up in anything. You know, and all that makes a big difference. And that's something special for Orangeburg County. Uh, so, you know, this is an honor to be here tonight to see him, his portraits up here, because this will be something for years to come. Our grandchildren, other children will be looking at and said, who is that great man? You know, he's done a lot yes, for the state yes. and for the county. I've always been around. My neighbors have been around. I've been around the that have been around. So I have a political philosophy. You've got to create connections that have been around. I've got the man of the hour, Senator John Matthews. Tell us what this day means to you, if you will. Well, I think it's kind of unexpected. You never know where you're going to end up in life. Um, I had a lot of friends in the General Assembly, and so I think they just want to appreciate my service, and I, I really appreciate them doing it. Well, we thank you so much for what you've continued to do for South Carolina, what you do for our organization, so much more. Thank you, man. Yes, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.
me the job. I want to publicly thank you for being the man of your word. Never, not once ever, did John Matthews do anything dishonest with me. He was always honest and straight up and a man of his word, and I want to publicly thank you for that stuff. He fights hard for us, but he believes, and also, and maybe more important, is a gentlemanly man in which he fights. There's no doubt that since Matthew's legacy will be that of public education. As an educator, he was dedicated to teaching our kids. As a public servant, there's no greater or more tireless and passionate advocate of the children and teachers of South Carolina and the Senate. Is there many things that John Matthews and I share love for his education? We're both blessed by the opportunity to afford it to us and it worked throughout our careers to make education acceptable to the people of South Carolina. Nowhere, nowhere is this more evident than John's beloved in South Carolina State. It is his leadership and unmatched ability to provide perspective that ensures the historic institution continues to serve an invaluable purpose to our citizens and our community. And Senator John Matthew from Orangeburg County, congratulations, Senator. And please know you're deserving of this great honor. We honor you for your accomplishments. We honor you for your service. We honor you for your dedication. But those aren't the only reasons we honor you, Senator Matthews. We honor you because of the person you are, or the example you set for every single person who serves in this body, and for every person who ever has the opportunity to serve here. You are the shining star and the example for every one of us, and we thank you for that. You have given the citizens of South Carolina hope by your service and your dedication in this body. And your portrait hanging in this chamber will remind everyone who sees it of hope that they have as a citizen of this state and that we are better off as a state because of your service. To you, the Senator Hope from Bowen, South Carolina, we say congratulations and God bless you.
So when I came over, I had to go on the back road. So goodness, I said, hell, I got to sit back here. He said, yeah. I said, I can't go. He said, no. He said, go back, sit back there, shut the hell up, be quiet. So I followed all of Every time he'll change his seat, he'll look back at me. Come on up here, come on. I said, I'm not supposed to come on up here. So he came in along with it. So we sat together a long, long time, around 30, you get 20 or 30 years, somewhere in there so long ago. So John, I'm gonna tell you something I want people, when, the, when, my, when my day comes, I want you to, I, if, if you stay in here, now you may not. <laughs> This was I'm 88, or you, 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 you may be going to But in case you live longer than I do, there's something I always tell people when I go to other places. And uh, that is, you know, you don't know when your time comes, but you know, you, you, you need to be ready. And I, I just kind of feel for you sometimes. Because I, I, I know all what you're going through with me. I know what you're going through. So, take it easy, just put it.
I'll never forget this thing. Thank you.